Hello, good evening, good afternoon, good morning everybody. Me again, second video of the day. Uh, I have managed to glean a little bit more information about exactly why Windsor and the other def uh, plaintiffs, not defendants, plaintiffs, are bringing this action so many years later. It's not a lot of information, but this particular video is for Sugars and Megan supporters. You're more than welcome here on my channel. I am so pleased that a lot of people, there have been people who've said, I love Harry. I thought Harry looked great. And I've replied to them and said, that's great. I'm so glad you're here. But, and this is what I term sugars, okay? Sugars, get this. I am Fiona. I live in Spain. I work in Gibraltar at the Dolphin Safari. Yes, my boss knows I've got a YouTube channel. No, I'm not going to get fired. No, you can't dox me. So if you could knock all that on the head, forget the racism as well and jealous because I wish I'd married Harry Windsor and all the other things that you love to come out with. Just knock it on the head. And to the sugars that say, oh, it's all about monetization. It is not. If you go right back to the beginning of my videos on this channel, you'll discover why I am interested in this particular aspect. I was once Britain's most wanted woman back in 1999 until 2003. I was on the run. My husband now came with me then. I had, and Graham had, massive fights with the Daily Mail. I'm not a Daily Mail fan. I've also been a law student in the past and I have sued people for defamation. So this is an area, right, to be like Harry, this is an area of interest for me. Okay, so I didn't just wake up one day and think, oh, there's money in slagging off Meghan and Harry on YouTube, I'm gonna get stuck in. Not a bit of it, I'm afraid. You need to do some catching up. And sugars, when you go on people's channels, at least have the courtesy to look into them a little bit before commenting and making yourself out for a complete moron. Okay? Um, now, I am interested in this case. I'm not current on the law and I was never a lawyer and don't take my legal advice for anything because I may well be full of shit. But when I was studying law, I remember studying the Latent Damage Act and it's like, I uh, think, statute of limitations you guys have in America, um, where you have a certain period of time to take action. Now, there may well be other legislation, new legislation in the UK that governs it, I don't know. But my understanding was that you had a, limit, a limited amount of time to bring an action so that, for example, someone can't sue someone 10 years, 20 years later, 30 years later, and they're like... What the hell? Um, however, <laughs> my understanding is that if new evidence comes to light, compelling evidence, from the point that the evidence came to the potential plaintiff, that's the point they can then go back to court and say, um, there's new evidence, so we need to look at this again. And I'm, I'm pretty sure that's got to be the circumstance here. Because if it was a time limit and they're outside the time limit, it wouldn't have got this far. Now, Harry's not the only plaintiff. Obviously, Elton John is, and Liz Hurley, and those other people who are, I'm sorry, I'd never heard of them before. Um, and that's, so it's not just one plaintiff, it's a whole group of them. This is, a, this is a group action. So there must be something, I mean, I cannot think what, but there must be something that's come to light. Now, the little bit of information I've gleaned is from Yahoo News. I've even been looking up the usual puff piece, places to see if they're explaining why, why, what's brought this about. And it, it, what I have gleaned, which isn't much, is that apparently Harry's lawyers say that he was deprived of having a normal childhood because he uh, was suspicious of some friends because of the way the articles were written, made him think it was his friends and he cut ties with those friends. Well, again, Windsor, if you're watching this, I was on the run. I cut ties with certain friends at certain points because the Daily Mail said things like, friends say she's moved from Spain to Portugal, which I had. Now, they could have been guessing, but to be on the safe side, and these were really serious circumstances. Um, I mean, it, I was looking at custodial situations. They did actually 
um, come to Spain and have me arrested in Spain. And I was in jail, I think, for about 26, 29 days in Madrid, Madrid 5, with Etta and uh, other prisoners of the same like, who actually they, they kept themselves to themselves largely. Um, so it was a very serious situation. And the slightest whiff, being living in a, a very heightened sense of paranoia, being a fugitive, um, I would readily cut people off that I had made friends with in case there was something in it. But that was my decision, Windsor. I never held the Daily Mail or Associated Newspapers responsible for the fact that <laughs> because they use the term friends say, which is what they used to do a lot, um, it wasn't their fault that I made that active decision. I'm not going to talk to that person anymore. I'm going to change my phone number. I'm going to change location again. So, I, um, I mean, there may be more to it. And again, I find it very frustrating. Um, some of the Meghan, uh, Harry supporters, not Meghan, because there's nothing to do with her, really. Um, some of them, one of them said he entered the front door because he is a prince of the realm. Well, anyone can enter the front door, not just princes of the realm. I'm sure it's not covered in cobwebs. No one ever, oh, we haven't had a prince of the realm come along in a long time. Oh, we better clean it up. There's a prince of the realm coming. Come on. Um, so that was a pretty ridiculous and lame comment to make. And uh, saying things like, oh, haters like you, like, like me, um, uh, only a few days ago were going on about Harry's drug use and how he's going to lose his visa. Uh, excuse me, can you find that video that I made dedicated to Windsor's drug use? No, because I don't give a crap about his drug use. I don't think it's a very good idea for him to be on um, a show with Dr. Gabor saying to potentially young people, or oh, you can cure your mental health by taking a few hallucinogenics. No, that is a very bad idea. But apart from that, I don't think I've done any videos dedicated to his visa. Um, also, <laughs> yes, my husband was a fire in arm instructor. And the video the other day, he put up on my channel because I was tired and I had been cleaning and going out on the dolphin trip and fixing the house up ready for the season. Um, it was a toy gun, okay? So to the person who said uh, he threatened her, uh, again, I've got to assume that's a sugar. And uh, God forgive me, it's the first time in the comments I've actually said, well, fuck off then. Sorry. But, I mean, Sugar's Meghan supporters, Harry supporters, anti-monarchists, there are so many of them on here who are wonderful, who comment and engage and talk to each other in a normal fashion. But I do see when a swathe of this shit comes through, it's as if they don't watch the video, they don't pay attention to the content, they don't know who they're talking to, they make uh, sweeping judgments about everybody who comments here, whether they're for or against Harry, saying we're all racists, we're haters, we're jealous, uh, that we're just in it for the money because they're clear. Just again, I reiterate, anyone who doesn't like swearing, cover your ears. Fuck off those kind of sugars and robots. Go away. Be somewhere else. This is a relatively small channel and it's a really nice community and I'm sorry if this comes across as a bit of a frustrated video but I'm not going to sit there reading comments and typing with two thumbs to people who come out with just such moronic statements that I love the Daily Mail. I, Fiona Mont, love the Daily Mail. In certain instances I will take the side of the Daily Mail where I think Harry is being a knob and Meghan is being a bitch and unreasonable. But at this stage, in this, these particular proceedings, I have no idea why they have decided to take action again now. I would love it if someone out there who works at The Guardian, The Independent, one of the left-leaning supporting newspapers, can you not give us a running commentary or tell us what's going on in the court case? That's what I'm interested in. That is the part that I'm interested in. And, um, I mean, if the Daily Mail were really that good, bloody hell, they'd have known where we were when we were on the run. <laughs> and they didn't have a clue, apart from when they came to Al Arin campsite in Spain with the police and Interpol to arrest me. Oh, and Sugars, I don't have a criminal record. I was never charged with anything. And my arresting officer who led the hunt for me was subsequently arrested and thrown out of the police force for conspiracy to pervert the course of justice in another case. So I hope that clears that up for sugars. You're more than welcome to support Meghan and Harry here and raise valid points. But for God's sake, watch the video 
first. Thank you all very much for listening, as always.